every one of you who's here today. I'm just trying to fix my desk because it's messy. Um, let me show you what we have. Let me fix my computer to make sure that I see your um your comments. Happy Friday, everyone. What are you guys doing today? I hope you had a great week. I had a great week. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be decorating Helen the Hutch. So right now, I just finished, just now, maybe about 10 minutes ago, I just finished filming the tutorial for this. Okay, so you're going to be watching the tutorial. You're going to be able to watch the tutorial maybe Saturday or Sunday. And it's going to end with this. This is the finished product of the tutorial. This is a second part of the tutorial where we are decorating it, okay? Um, hi, Christina. Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Happy Friday. I'm just fixing my table so that you can see. So this is the finished product of the tutorial. The tutorial is going to end with you having this as a finished product. So right now, this is part two because now we're going to decorate it and we're going to have fun with this collection. Hi, Eve. How are you? Happy Friday. So I think it would be fun to see the before and the after when it comes to the creation process of Helen the Hutch. This is Helen and she comes in many, many parts. This is the base. I wonder where I put the traveler's notebook portion. Okay, so in the tutorial, I'm going to post the tutorial this weekend, you guys, because I just finished filming it minutes ago. So I didn't have time to edit it. And this is the traveler's notebook portion. So this goes right here in the back. Um, let me show you the finished project. I have that collection. I want to make a family recipe mini album. Perfect, 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 perfect. Hi, Erlinda. Thank you, thank you so much, Eve. Hi, Donna. Hi, Tracy. So, let me show you the actual Helen. This is the actual Helen the Hutch. This is what she looks like. This is what the intention is. This is what this is Helen, and this goes down just like this, and you can put stuff inside. And the one that I was showing you, the white one, is not the decorated part of Helen. Okay, so we have yet that was the skeletal base of Helen, and this one is the high, the fully decorated one, and the back portion has a traveler's notebook. A place where you can put your traveler's notebook in. Hi, Cousin Bonnie. How are you? So this is where it's going to be. And then obviously, you know, if you want to decorate it a little bit further. But this this is where it starts. Okay. So when I when you watch the tutorial, it ends, it ends here. So this is like the microwave. I think this is a microwave. And then these are the cabinets for Helen and then this traveler notebook container is in the back portion so what we're doing today is we're going to decorate it so that we have a fully finished product just like this one I think it's gonna be amazing hi Alicia happy Friday honey so that's what we're going to do and what I did is I just pre-cut some corners hi Camelia pre-cut some of these so that we can cover it and it looks like a cabinet so we're going to start adding those and this is from a different collection because I only had one sheet of the wood grain in this one and I want to use the wood grain to fussy cut because let me show you this one there's a wood grain one right here and I only have one wood grain. And then the back portion is this one. So I don't want to waste this. I want to fussy cut all this to, to add to the cuteness. Hi, Sylvia. Hello, Bevs. Hello, hello, everyone. Hi, Alvina. Hello, Annette. Welcome, guys. So we're decorating this. I promise you're going to have the tutorial. I just finished filming it minutes ago. So I didn't have much time today. We started juicing, me and my husband. So we took a three-hour nap. <laughs> I don't know if that was like a normal thing for juicing, but it was our first time. Hi, Vero. Hi, Tia. Welcome, welcome. Um, so that, 
so that's why I didn't have time to to create and to post the video normally I wanted ideally you know you want to post the video before you create it but we're just winging it right now so what I'm doing right now is I'm just putting these wood grain paper um I'm so excited I'm so happy I'm so happy Christina that you like it I'm going to I am making your desktop thing right now what desktop thing Cousin Bonnie, what desktop thing? Oh my gosh, you guys, by the way. Um, I am revamping. I'm revamping the closet of kindness. And I am going to film a project share. You're going to love it. It has something to do with the new collection from Simple Stories. I think you're going to love it. I think you're going to like it a lot. Hi, now welcome welcome how are you hello neon thank you so much neon hi mimi welcome welcome so here's so for the friends that just got in this is what we're doing we're creating and decorating helen the hutch right here and the finished product what helen this is a different variation of helen the hutch this one is the bright one and we're doing a subdued one and we're using the hearth and home collection from three craft chicks so i feel like it's a good variety when it comes to like the looks of of the things that we create and it, it can be used in a variety of collections um that's what i wanted to show you because you know um i promise that this tutorial the tutorial will end with you having this finished product um so it's going to, I just finished the tutorial just now, just now before the live. Um, I had enough time to set up the live, but other than that, I have, I have nothing else. Um, but it is, this is, this is the second part technically of the tutorial when it comes to like the decorating portion of it. Um, so I hope that you are okay with this kind of non-chronological way of it hello maddie how are you welcome welcome happy friday and then we have our friend craft addict let me see what is i'm trying to remember what is your first name craft addict let me look at my list craft addict let me see craft addict what is your name craft addict i know you've been here before that's for sure. Let me see if I, I, I know I have you in my list somewhere. Um, Hi, Maria. Welcome, welcome. Oh, the Rachel organizer. Yes, Cousin Bonnie. That's right. That's a cute project to have. Craft Addict is Barbara. Hi, Tracy. Um, So, hello, Barbara. Welcome, welcome. I need to memorize. I thought I did memorize everybody's names. So welcome everyone. I hope that we are enjoying our weekend. I'm off this weekend. So, but we are juicing me and my husband. I did not anticipate that we're going to be taking three hour naps. Has anybody experienced juicing before? I've never. Hi, Char. Hi, Sparkling Char. How are you? Thank you for being here. Oh, Craft Addict is Roxanne. Oh my gosh. Roxanne, sorry about that. Look, I have Craft Addict. It says Barbara. I apologize. I apologize. Thank you for letting me know. Um, I'm so sorry. I made a mistake. Sorry about that. I'm going to edit that. Craft Addict is Roxanne. Thank you, Roxanne, for being here. And thank you for letting me know. I absolutely appreciate it. Um, yay, cousin, Sunday Live. Yes, we will see. We will see because, you know... Dude, this this juicing business is intense. And we are... Has any of you guys juiced before? Because this is my first time. And it's intense. All I'm going to say is it's quite intense. So you, you drink a lot of water. Lots and lots of water. And your meal is technically the green juice. So... Thank you, Roxanne, for being patient. Appreciate it. Um, I need food. <laughs> I know. I've never... Mimi, do you get diarrhea when you juice? Is that normal? 
I guess it would be normal, right? So what I'm doing right now is I'm, you know, we have the bones. When you see the tutorial, we create the bones in the tutorial. This one is we're making it pretty. We're making the bones pretty. And then eventually we decorate it with the heart and home collection from Simple Stories. So I'm just putting some background. This is the plan is for this to be here. For this to be here, the microwave will be here. I don't know if we call it a microwave, but this is what it's going to look like. So we're adding all the beautiful pieces. Oh my gosh, Kayla and Cheryl is here. Hi guys. Thank you for being here, everyone. So glad that everyone's here today. I'm so happy. Now we have to decide, my friends. We have to decide the backsplash. Is, is it called backsplash if it is... Do you call it a backsplash if it is a cabinet or a hutch? I don't know, actually. But anywho, that's what it says. I made the Rachel organizer and I love it. Yay, I'm so glad you like it. Oh my gosh. We're, um, Vera, we're making Helen the Hutch. The tutorial will come out this weekend. Um, but we're decorating it. So we're going to start with part two. Part two, which is the decorating it portion. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Char. Thank you for making it. I'm looking for a good backsplash. Oh, this is what I wanted to do. Yay. This would be cute as backsplash, wouldn't it? Let's try it. Let's see if it works, my friend. Would this be cute? I have juice before and it does clean out your intestines. I had a tough time the first four days. It's intense. Good news is you feel so much better. Oh my goodness. It is intense, honey. Totally intense, I feel like. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how, like, what to expect. My friend Marlon said that it's going to be amazing for your skin so i dragged my husband with me <laughs> with the cleansing <laughs> so he and i are cleansing right now so i think this one would be cute let's let's try it but i don't know it's my first time to do it and we'll see how it goes would this be cute i think it would I think it would be cute, but I need to measure. Honestly, I need to measure how long this is. I don't have, like, I, the thing erased already with that ruler. Okay, so from here. Oh, sorry, I bumped into the thing. So I'm just trying to measure how, how thick it is. It's going to be about... So it is about two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Um, hi, Fritzy. How are you? All the vitamins you take in are so awesome. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh. I can feel it. Like, I don't know. My, my friend said your skin is going to look so much better after it. So I am definitely looking forward to that because it's intense. Um, hi, Sonia. Welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. As long as I keep 10 pounds off, I'm happy. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I wanted to... It's going to be intense. And my husband said, you know, we're getting older and all that, which is true. I am getting older and... You know, I need to do something about it. It's just not that easy. <laughs> you know, it's not as easy as as I thought it would be. Oh, my goodness. Gosh, it's intense. The only description I have for it is it's intense, you guys. Um, hello, Alicia. How are you? Happy Friday. Yes, your skin looks amazing. Oh, my gosh. That's what my friend said, too. Your skin is going to look phenomenal, which I absolutely appreciate, but we will see. 
we will see because you know after all the juicings you're like can i do this can i do this my husband is very supportive so we're doing it together he is doing it with me which is a great thing because i don't want to do it alone so this is four blocks um hi lisa welcome welcome happy friday hi hello everyone joanne delano hello joanne welcome joanne is from virginia i'm sitting back with my foot popped up after surgery oh my gosh yes please rest and heal because surgery is not something to be taken lightly P put your feet up honey and just hang out with us okay just hang out so what i'm trying to do friends is i'm trying to maybe i shouldn't have assembled this but i was assembling it for the tutorial so friends if you want to make this one my suggestion for you is cover it first cover it first with all your prettiness before you assemble it and put it together it's too late for me but it's not too late for you honey you still have time you know you can recoup it because you haven't made it yet so that's my suggestion for you friend cover it Cover it with the pretties. That's why I put a score mark there. It's for you to see where to put your decorative portion. Because I made this a while back, I was like trying to remember why I did a certain thing. So, now I get it. Now I know why I did certain things. So, we're going to glue this right here. What are you guys doing right now? Hi, Audrey. Hi, Glenda. Hello, sorry, I wasn't looking at the comments, but thank you for being here. Charlene Chapman is here also. So don't forget, guys, Craft Addict is Roxanne. It's not Barbara. Ginger, hi, Ginger Ceres. Welcome, welcome. And you can do it. I would say stay away from chard. Too rough. So bland. Romaine is the best for juicing. Um, thank you, Mimi. Thank you so much. Ka Kalwina Striker. Don't talk a lot but i'm often here from texas living in sweden now oh my gosh um hello kalwina welcome welcome and you are from texas welcome to the crafty community and you're for in sweden i love sweden sweden is absolutely gorgeous and we definitely want to come back we went to sweden a couple of years ago on a cruise and we stayed in the downtown downtown hotel in stockholm sweden um what are you doing in sweden do you live there now did you marry a swedish person what's the gist let us know are you there for work that's cute that is gonna be so cute welcome welcome to the crafty community um thank you for for taking the time to to chat and hang out i love 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 it um finally over covid and get to see my granddaughters oh how fun it's gonna be amazing annette i hope i hope you have the best time it's so much fun seeing families seeing each other again calwina thank you for being here calwina um, you're going to notice that we have a lot of friends that will that are welcoming you and this is a great community maybe you've already noticed that because you've been here before you said you were quiet but thank you for having the courage to speak up today and hang out with your crafty sisters okay so let's see right there um sweden is absolutely gorgeous and the food is amazing we went to 
We actually went to the Viking Museum. So awesome. What an amazing experience. Um, are you guys crafting? Are, what are you guys doing? Did you have dinner already? What's the plan? I'm having my dinner, which is the juice. I think soup is going to be what I'm going to have for dinner. Um, what I did is I ordered this from Chef V. Chef V dot com and everything is provided for you i know some people when they juice is they make the juice themselves this one we just bought everything nick nick the fridge is open anak my son forgot to close the fridge so So there you go. Looks like we're getting there. Um, anyway, so the juicing portion, I told my husband, you're going to join me for the juicing because I don't want to do it alone. I don't want to see my husband eating and then I'm not eating. So <laughs> we're doing it together. <laughs> um, 11 at night. Wow, that is late. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. And um kalwina is crafting you love my backsplash thank you so much i'm digital scrapbooking and listening love 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 it i actually personally have never tried digital scrapbooking um i'm more into a traditional touching everything feeling everything kind of um we are traveling well we we did some local travel Actually, to answer your question, um, Roxanne, we did some local travel like Monterey and all that, but not international. So we have a trip planned for Venice. It's like a cruise that we booked through Costco.com. And it's like Venice, some parts of Italy. Where I think we're going to go back to Rome, Barcelona, and I think some parts of France is where we're going. I think we're going to Cannes. Um, and this is going to happen in June. Fritzy said um, a Mexican food truck comes to our neighborhood every Friday. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. That sounds so amazing right now, especially I'm juicing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Colwina is from Dallas, Texas. Lisa says I'm crafting. I'm making a DT trifle container birthday cake for a friend. I love that. Um, Melissa sent me a trifle birthday cake and it is in my craft room. I think it's going to be in my craft room for a thousand years because it is so beautiful. What is your theme for your trifle cake? Um, hey, Barbara, how are you? Welcome, welcome. And Bonnie is crafting. Camelia says, Fritzy, that is a great idea. I'm in Maryland and it would be great for food trucks in yes in the dmv area that'll be awesome we have mexican food truck sits up the street that is so much fun um yes i saw a cruise ship in venice yes i'm so so excited to go to venice um canada ginger is in canada that is so cool i'm in the oh no wait canada that is so cool i'm in northern utah Oh my gosh, Ginger, I have a question for you since you're in Utah. Have you visited the Doodlebug head office? It's one of, you know, it's in my bucket list to visit the Doodlebug head office, to be honest. Um, they have, they do have an office there. And man, before I die, I promise I'm going to visit that place. Um, I'm making Rachel the desk organizer from Cousins Video. Yay, thank you, thank you so much. I'm fussy cutting some pretty teacups for a journal project. How fun, how fun. Um, yes, yes, yes. Crafting a birthday challenge. Guys, did I tell you that birthday month is in April? I think, I'm not sure. I think I did. But, okay, so... Feb Valentine's Valentine's is on Monday, right? So Valentine's is technically over. Um, the next one is Unicorns and Rainbows Month, and that is going to be the f the third and fourth week 
the third and fourth week of February. So I hope you can join that. March is Spring Fling and Easter. And April is birthday month because that's my birthday month. May is unicorn month. So that is going to be so much fun. So I'm just attaching it. Securing all the pieces together. Sorry I missed some of your um, your comments. I love cilantro steak, onion on soft corn. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I'm putting the touching up my walls. Redecorating the mantle. How fun. I wish I had a mantle. I've not, but I'm putting it on my list of things to do. You have to go. It's going to be amazing. I'm blinging a cup. How cute. I am crafting Valentine's Happy Mail and making a card. That is so sweet, Eve. Lots of pieces to go, Ginger. Lots of time. Um, Glenda says, I'm working from home and listening, hoping to get some free time this weekend for crafting. Yes, yes, yes. Yay. April is your birthday too, Joanne. How fun. Um, what day is your birthday? I'm my birthday is on the the third, April third. Okay, so now I think I have the courage to add a little bit of gluing all this together. I'm using I am using um, barely arts because it allows me time to adjust. If I was using glue gun, then it's just going to stick and I won't be able to have time to adjust it. So, that is why. That is the reason why we're doing what we're doing. There's a, there's a reason. How cute are these drawers, you guys? This is so cute. So obviously you can change it up if you want the double drawers on the bottom. You can. I promise you this is a solid project. Hi, Irma. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, Tia is April 13th. How fun. And Palm is here. Hi, Palm. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Who crafts for St. Patrick's? I actually don't craft for St. Patrick's because that's my son's birthday the next day. So I don't have time. But. I know Vicky Ville crafts um, and she decorates. Do you guys watch Vicky? Vicky Ville, she's so, so cute. She's in Instagram and YouTube and I love watching her videos. <laughs> Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. And then the microwave. We're, we'll just call it microwave. The microwave is going to be there, but I want to cut... I want to determine what we are going to use for this. So, I want to cover this. I want to cover this one also. So, let's see what we're going to use. I just remember. Um, I'm quarter Irish. So, you are probably celebrating St. Patrick's, Palm. My, my birthday is on the 10th and my daughter is on the 5th. So, April is a birthday month for you as well. So that's me, me on the third. And normally Easter is a thing that we celebrate. But I would love to invite you guys. April is birthday month. Mm, Vero too. Mine is the ninth. How fun. Lots of April babies. We have lots of April babies in here. So what I'm doing, friends, is I'm trying to identify what paper to use to cover this um this is bothering me a little bit so i'm snipping it so yes i want it to be sturdy this goes inside right there so i'm trying to identify what to put for the microwave I mean, it has to be, I think, a solid color, don't you think? I don't know. Should it be wood grain? What do you think? Do you have mirror paper? Oh, my gosh. Janet is here. Hello, Janet, my sweet friend. How are you? Oh, my gosh. How are you? Welcome, welcome. My sister's birthday is on the 16th. Mine is the 18th. 
Like Nick, yes, yes, yes. My mom always made a green cake. How cute. So I don't like green. So I don't like green. Only wear on the 17th. I finally broke down and brought the markers, but they won't be here until the end of the month. Why is it taking so long, Annette? Um, oh, Sam is here. Hi, Sam. Paper Bessos. Welcome, welcome. And Janet is here also. Oh my gosh, thank you so much for being here. Linda Taylor, hi. Where do you get ideas from, Christian? I am always inspired by the paper collection. Um, the paper collection inspires me when I see, like, especially ephemera that inspires me to create it into 3D projects. Um, oh, the CEO of Amazon stepped down. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't I didn't know that it took that long. A um, mirror paper. Let me see if I have mirror paper. That would be a great idea. But again, this this collection is a little bit subdued. I don't think I have mirror paper. I have glitter paper, which is sort of not appropriate. Yeah. It's it it doesn't have to be it doesn't technically have to be um, a microwave. It could be, we can make it yellow if you want. Or wood grain. What about wood grain? Would wood grain work? I think it would work. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. What about wood grain? Would it be okay? I'm doing good. How about you? I, we're making Helen the Hutch. Janet, we're making Helen the Hutch. So the tutorial will be released this weekend. But I really wanted... This is part two of Helen the Hutch. Because the first part is going to be released this weekend on how to create score and everything. And today is part two, which is, you know, putting it together and decorating it all pretty. So shipments aren't like just in two days anymore. Is this going to be a forever thing that it's not going to be in two days and it's going to take longer forever or just a transitional thing? If you haven't posted your birthday on PHA Crafters page yet, do so the way that we can wish you happy birthday. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. I'm watching on my cell phone right now for some reason. I can't really see well on the screen. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so sorry about that poem. Is it blurry? Thank you, thank you, Char. Thank you, thank you. So this is the hutch. It says PHA Cafe, and it's all doodle bugified as always. Um, but I do, I do want to cover this. Let me look at the paper collection once more, because I know that there's a lot of beautifulness in here. Would it look good with wood grain though? Oh, it would. Oh, yes. It looks awesome. Yup, yup, yup. Let's do it. It's going to be cute. It's going to be so cute. Let's do four and seven, eight for this one let's see if it works cousin can you put the video up by tomorrow okay i'll put it by tomorrow cousin bonnie i just need to put all the measurements and type it all out that's the thing but i'll do it tomorrow for you um looks like fun you're so creative thank you so much thank you so much janet ladies my wi-fi is so slow oh no glenda that sucks but thank you so much for being here um, the picture is really small. Oh, because of... Is it because that you're using it on your phone? Hello, Erica. How are you? Yes, she does make amazing projects, Cousin Bonnie. Yes, you do, Cousin Bonnie. I love your projects. So I think this one would be cute right here. Um, be cute right there. And then we need it here. 
one last one. Yes, the wood grain. This one is a simple stories. I got it as prototype paper from Tuesday morning. But the collection that I'm working with right now is called Hearth and Home. And this is actually a new collection from Simple Stories. So if you want this collection, you can get it from 3craftchicks.com. They have everything available right now. Hi, Rosalinda. Welcome, welcome. You're not late. No, this is already pre-made. The tutorial for this is going to be available this weekend. Um, I'm going to make sure. I'm going to try to make, I'm going to try my very best to get it available for you by tomorrow so that you can create it for the weekend and you have your own Helen the Hutch by Valentine's Day that is the goal how cute how cute and easy easy peasy um I've been watching some of your old videos. Bonnie, you ladies want me to make... <laughs> you make me want to make... Want to craft. That is so sweet. This collection is not my thing. That's okay, Cousin Bonnie. That's okay. Um, I, I do like... On a personal note, I do like... Um, kind of like a farmhouse kind of vibe. Because my house is... Farmhouse feel. So I, that's why I like this collection a lot because it reminds me of the farmhouse vibe. So yes, that's why I like this collection because of the farmhouse vibe. Okay, like that. And then you open it like this. And obviously I'm going to I'm going to decorate this one but with a different print. Um, I love crafting, so I get excited to make new stuff. I'm so, so happy. Me too. I love crafting. Um, Three-day weekend to craft. I love it, Rosalinda. What are you planning on making? What do you plan on making? I'm drinking my green juice. I was anticipating that it's going to be like so much worse, but I'm glad that it isn't. So happy. I'll check in later. I got to go bedtime. Good bed, good bedtime with the babies. Okay, Pom. Talk to you later. Where did you find the collection? I, Tia, I got this collection from 3craftchicks.com. So, welcome back, Alicia. 3craftchicks.com and a super, super fun collection. It's subdued and I do have a subdued side in me. I'm not always just bright and colorful. This one, because I love the farmhouse vibe. Honestly, honestly. Love, love, love the farmhouse vibe. It is so, so cute. Let's see if this one will work. Maybe, Christian, you should measure before you start cutting. That's a good idea. That is true as well. I should have measured it first. But I'm too excited. It's all right. Um, oh, yes. The Pioneer Woman. Oh, yeah. I love watching her. I love seeing like when, you know, these, these hosts, when they show and talk about and they show feature their families. I love that. Oh, this is perfect size. This is sort of the perfect size. Now it's a matter of like choosing which one though. Cute, but there's it's not the same. Okay. Julia Child. Is that okay? I mean, no, I don't think so. I think it has to be the same right hello Catherine welcome welcome happy Friday to you Fritzy I need to call you and talk to you about your healthy stuff pioneer woman collection oh my gosh I agree Tia just imagine if she had a collection oh yes this one would be cute 
imagine if she had a collection because she already has a collection of kitchen stuff and then the colors are absolutely gorgeous this one is cute but beautiful colors and then we'll decorate it with flowers later We'll put some flowers and everything. We'll make it all prettied up. Cutie cute. Oh, let's use this one as a handle. Why not? Won't that be cute? Home. Oh, this is cute. Let me see. Let's see. Are these elements way too big? I'm looking, I'm looking. Does she, she has a paper collection? Are you serious? Wait, what? Pioneer Woman has a paper collection. Where do we get that? Because I love, love, love her stuff. I decorate my kitchen around with around my KitchenAid. My mom says, put that away when it's not using. I'm like, nope, that's my decoration. <laughs> Cousin Bonnie. It is a beautiful um, central, central point for your KitchenAid. I agree with you. I do agree with you. Let me just look at Helen and what did I use for Helen's handle? Do I have something that is not super bright perhaps because this is very subdued colors yeah this is good that's cute so what we're trying to determine is which one is better? Because when you, I want it, when you open it, it's like, bam. I always wanted one. She gave me one to cherish it. How cute. Okay, so this is what we have right now, my friends. And this goes right here. I think the colors look, look great. And then the backsplash looks amazing. The countertop, we need to like figure out the countertop. But I've already attached it. That's my mistake. I got way too excited. Should I use the wood grain as countertop? I don't know. I don't know. Should I? Not sure. Is a wood grain a good countertop though? That is the question. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, if you're getting confused. Yeah, I think this is cute. Hey, Sophia, how are you? We're making Helen the Hutch. So pretty much, I've said this to everyone already, but Helen the Hutch's tutorial will be released tomorrow. So that you can make it tomorrow. But I'm just showing you how we're just decorating right now. This is a countertop backsplash. So cute. Yellow print for the top. What do you mean yellow print for the top, my friend? Could you work for handles? Could work for handles. What are the little wooden things under the salt and pepper shaker? Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. That's true. The wooden things. Oh, this one. Isn't it too big? These are like spatula. This is a kitchen. We're making Helen the Hutch. So we're making Helen the Hutch and we're decorating it. And we're using the new collection from Three Craft Chicks called Hearth and Home. I love this collection so much. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Thank you for all the thumbs up, you guys. 
It's olive green. Oh my goodness. My coworker gave me a silver one. Yellow print for top. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Let me see Helen because I want to kind of decorate it. <clears throat> So this is, um, obviously, this is a little bit more subdued than Helen, than the, than the bright one. So I'm trying to determine what is the best way to go. So let's look. What about florals? Nope. This one would probably be on top. The home sign, the flowers. Okay. It looks weird. No, sorry. It doesn't work. It doesn't work for me. Um Hello Helen. Hello. You know this is Helen the Hutch. <laughs> I like it. I knew you're going to like it. <laughs> this is Helen the Hutch and we're decorating her right now. I think she is absolutely gorgeous and easy to create. Um, it just has a lot of parts. I just wanna, I just wanna warn you guys that Helen the Hutch requires nine sheets of twelve by twelve. Okay, don't be alarmed because they're so. It is solid. It is made in a solid way, and look how solid that is. I put a lot of reinforcements on everything, just so. Just so you know that this is a solid project and you won't be afraid to kind of give it to to a friend or to a special someone. You know what I mean? Like, it's not flimsy at all and you won't be shy. The spoons. Oh, you like the spoons up there? Okay, let me look. So that's going to be the handle then. Let me just cover this. I know you can barely see it, but I think it's going to look good. I think it's going to look good. Just to have it covered. So this one I'm not covering because this is going to be attached to here. I cover this one. So when you look at it, you see it. You know, you're not seeing like a blank and it looks like a continuous thing. So I think we're ready to attach this somehow. I just need to decorate this one. Thank you so much. My, my daughter used to ask me if I thought I was Martha since, <laughs> since crafting, she, <laughs> Since I was Martha Stewart, since crafting, she don't. What? She does have the male model hands. Who does? Oh my God, I miss it. I missed it. Salt and paper shakers cut apart. That's genius. That is a genius move. That is a genius move because what I want to do is I'm removing the adhesive. I want to be able to close it with a um, with a Velcro. So that is genius. I love, love, love that idea. Thank you so much. So we're going to Velcro this together. I'm adding this one right here. And then we'll put like a cute sentiment or something. That will be so cute. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, I think this is going to be adorable. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm putting... I got these Velcro from, from AliExpress, you guys. And it's so inexpensive. It's insane. It's like 97 cents. Something to the effect of 97 cents. 
and it's the good quality one uh oh yes it works so we'll be able to close it and everything just like that so when you want to open it you can simply open it just like that and then now we can add this one i just need to i feel like i need to put something else like family or recipes or it's missing something it's missing something it's so let me add the glue hi claudia how are you have fun have fun annette have fun with your granddaughters i'm going to add the glue here and then the back and on the sides and left and right also wow i have nowhere to hold okay and then be patient when it comes to attaching it you guys okay okay so let's do this going to add it right here and I'm just pretty much holding on to it just so it attaches this is solid because it's made up of so many many layers hand model what are you talking about oh my gosh my hand is so dry <laughs> so funny my son has beautiful hands, actually. He has those candle-looking hands. Look how cute. And it's solid. And then you just find some spots where you just have to add additional. And then you glue it. This is the part that's my favorite. Oh, Robin N is here. Hi, Robin. A multi gasket. I like to craft when Christian does. How cute! Thank you so much. Okay, so that closes right there. This is where you're gonna. I mean, also, guys, you can decorate the inside of the the cabinet. No problem, if you want to. I'm definitely decorating the top part, um, probably with. As always, probably with the, some some of this uh, foam stickers. I think the foam stickers would be cute. Like putting gather up top here. Blessed would be cute also. Home sweet home. We'll see how it goes. So this is what we have so far. I feel like if I put this, I'm going to cover the beautiful backsplash so this is what we have it's still missing certain things but you can open it just like this if you wanted to if you want to add something inside i need to put something here sort of maybe gather let's see gather would be perfect it's a perfect font and then some flowers, perhaps. Let us see, my friend. So, what do we think about gather? Is this too small? Yes, it is too small. Family, stay a while. Home. Home is cute, sort of. Let's stay home. Um, cousin, this organizer is going to work for tabletop. If th tabletop in there, yes, I'm going to make two. Yay, I'm so excited. I'm so glad you like it. Hi, Stace. Welcome, welcome. Oh, Shanita is here. Hi, Shanita. Shanita, I have, I had a good week. How about yourself? Thank you for being here, everyone. wow 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 i think you guys i think this would be cute 
gather, don't you think? I'm going to remove, I'm going to remove the adhesive. I just don't want to risk it. Cosmos, Cosmo loves the limelight, so cute. Super busy per usual. Oh my gosh, Anita. I think your industry is the busiest, especially with COVID. There's just so much business. So much need, you know. I was going to make it for my friend now. I'm going to make her something else. I don't know. You might make two. Yes, make two for you and your friend, Cousin Bonnie. Why not? Go for it. I don't want to cover. I want to make sure that I'm not covering. I want to make sure I'm not covering anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it here in the back. Because... Did I tell you guys that um, I went for jury duty? Anyways, I'm not allowed to talk about it anyways. But that's where I've been. Gather and then some flowers. Let's see if this will work. Because I feel like it looks so much better with flowers. Don't you think? What do you think? Do we like the flowers in here? And it's not impeding anything. There's another green flower somewhere. Uh, Cosmo made for the movies he doesn't understand what could be more important than giving him attention <laughs> oh ingrid hello ingrid how are you thank you for being here how was your week i say go chargers wait until next year folks <laughs> thank you thank you robin thank you so much i usually watch the halftime show only bonnie but i but i grew up with the ram lots of referrals oh girl I believe you, girl, because, yeah, it's hard to discharge patients anymore because they all need referrals. You know what I mean? So, yes, that is what's happening. This, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I just need to remove the adhesive. Now that's going to be a lot of work. I just got too excited to attach things. And so now, this is just baby powder. You can also use cornstarch if you want. And use like a cheapo makeup brush from the Dollar Tree. Same effect. But I've had this for like almost 10 years. so, And I have it in my craft room. So it's just easy to use. But the same thing, you can use cornstarch. How cute. How beautiful is this? Do you love it? And then it closes with Velcro right here. And then, bless our mess, would be cute right here. No, 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 I added it with, with adhesive. <laughs> I got excited again. What did you get? She found some bargains at Joanne's Michaels in Hobby Lobby. How fun, Erlinda. What is your favorite? What is the favorite thing that you, you got that, that you liked? What's your favorite purchase for today? Oh my god, this is turning out so cute, you guys. Oh, I'm beginning to love it. Look how fun. 
Yay, yay, yay. So cute. Oh, it's turning out so cute. I am loving it. Now all we need to do is cover these. Cover these, which is super, super easy. Now the trick is what color? Maybe some yellow. We have yellow and floral. It's going to be too much if we cover it with this, wouldn't it? What do you think? It's turning out so cute, to be honest. I'm beginning to love it. Is it too much if I add this here? What do you think, friends? Is it too much if I add the cake stand here? What do you think? Um, I'm removing the adhesive with this um, EK Success Tools. It's pretty much baby powder inside. So yeah, that's what I'm using, Ginger also put yeah put it in a baby sock or use a brush right um two really bomb cigars my favorite purchase bomb cigars two really bomb cigars where did you purchase it so um hi christina how are you so what do we think do can we put the cake i think the cake looks really good Yaws. I think so. I think it looks going to be, it's going to be amazing over there. Yes, now I'm done. Now it looks, it looks finished. This one, I removed the adhesive already. So now all we need to do is decorate this part, which is super easy. Yellow would be cute. Let's go for it. Let's measure this. Um, Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Oh, my gosh. Trisha is here. Hi, Trish. Oh, no. So I just saw your comment. I already put the kickstand. That sucks. Hello, Cousin Angelica. How are you? Thank you for being here, everyone. Look, I'm making this one. This is Helen the Hutch. And when you open her, you can put goodies inside if you want to. And how do you put goodies? You just pull this down and you add it inside. Very, very spacious. Just like that. Look how cute. Helen is so cute. So now we're in the process of covering this. I think this one would be so cute as yellow, the bigger portion. So let's see how long it is. So this is about one. Okay, so what I need is one and a quarter. Paper that's one and a quarter by five. So let me get my trimmer. One and a quarter. Cousin Sandra, hello! Thank you for being here. Welcome, welcome. I'm sorry about my crazy desk. But, you know, when we when we craft, it just goes crazy. Okay. And then we have to also cover the traveler's notebook. I totally forgot about that. Look how beautiful this is. Is it better if it's floral? What do you guys think? Floral or yellow? Because we can do... We can do the flow. We can do the floral right now and then the yellow on top. What do you think? Good night, good night, Roxanne. Thank you for being here. Sorry, I'm not very good when it comes to looking at the chats right now. Sorry about that. Yes, come craft, Claudia. Come craft. So I think this would look cute here. And then yellow would be on top. What do you think? Or do we want yellow here? And then these go here. What do you think, my friend? I think yellow would cute be cute on the bottom. Thank you. Hello. 
Hello, Gail. Hello, Gail's Glam Design. Welcome, welcome. Happy Friday, sis. How are you? Thank you for being here. So glad to be hanging out with you guys. Either one works. Okay, cool. Thank you, thank you. So I'm going to add this. This is going to go right here. And then let me get this drawer. Flowers. Okay, let's do flowers. So I'm going to do flowers and then floral on a spot. Okay. So that's what we're doing. Let's do some florals and let's do a mix. Okay. Let's go for it. I think it's going to be so much fun. This is a different... This is sort of a different... I'm normally like really, really bright. But another side of me is like a farmhouse. Farmhouse vibe. My actual house, my, the house that I live in, has a lot of farmhouse elements. And I do love it. I do love the farmhouse vibes. Do, 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 do. Cute. Okay, next is this one. If your desk is messy. Oh my gosh, yes. I believe it. It means you're in the zone, right? You're in the zone of crafting. It probably means I'm always in the zone because my my desk is insane, my friends. I can't even show you. Oh my gosh, it's turning out so cute. Um, I don't know what I'm putting in it. It could be anything. It could be an organizer. It could be um it could be embellishments, whatever, right? It could be anything. Hey, Kayla, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. So, um, I want to make sure I say hi to everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, everyone. Do what makes you happy. Yes, I do love, I genuinely love this collection. And I was ready, I was ready to purchase it, but... Three Craft Chicks sent it to me, which I'm truly grateful for. But I was like, I'm ready. <laughs> I love this collection so much. <laughs> um, I'm sorry about my desk, my friends. Sorry about the crazy mess. Um, I am going to... I'm going to clean it up just a tad for you because I'm embarrassed. Man, we have to we have to use this one somehow because this is so cute. Thank you, thank you, Erlinda, so much. Thank you so much. So I think this would be super cute as a handle. Wouldn't it be so cute as handles? Yeah. Okay, so this one would be here. Hello would be here. And the house would be here. So Let's do it. Let us do it. It has to be some sort of sturdy. Okay, so I'm just putting. I'm just putting some of this. It's a subdued kind of collection, more neutral, but it's still, it doesn't take away the fact that it's absolutely gorgeous. And you can use this all throughout the year, my friend. This is a beautiful collection. You can do staycation, you can do home reno, pretty much everything that has to do with family. And look, they have these these drawers 
I love the yellow flowers against the dark background. Me too, girl! Isn't it so beautiful? I think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous collection, honestly. Wait, that's not what I want there. Is that what I want there? Oh my god. The glue gun is drying. Yes, that's what I wanted. And this is our handle. Our homemade handle. I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm going to leave it alone. Yay, I'm so glad you guys like it. Thank you so much. I know that I know that the collection looks so benign when you look at it like, oh yeah, whatever. It's plain. But it's beautiful. Give it a chance. Give it a second look. It is gorgeous. And if you feel like getting it, it is in 3craftchicks.com. Use my coupon code Christian10. Gosh, isn't that pretty? Like, boop. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I love it. It says, hello there. Hello there, honey. How you doing? And I love that it says, come and stay a while. Isn't that so sweet? Isn't that like what a grandma would say? Come and stay a while. Don't leave. Come hang out, right? Come and stay a while, honey. Just hang out for just a little bit. We're going to have so much fun. And just, just eat some of my home-cooked meals. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All I'm going to say, if somebody told me that, yes, ma'am, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for the link. Thank you for the link, Shanita. I appreciate it. Oh, my gosh. Gina, how are you? Yes, you appreciate it when somebody uses it. It's like farmhouse chic. Farmhouse chic, honey. I, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I think this is a beautiful, beautiful collection. I love the shape of the project with the collection. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Palm. I saw the mini album made out with recipes. And it's adorable. Yay! It's a great collection. Oh, my gosh. Look how pretty. So pretty, honey. I like it. I like it. Look how cute this would be. It's like, oh, let me get some utensils. Okay. Okay. Where I think eventually we're going to make some books. The clock. No. No. It's not appropriate. Look how cute. And I do want to put a picture frame. So I want to put this. You know. Okay. I'm going to show you my desk. Because. So is that a better view? I think it's a little bit of a better view. So, I think this would be so cute. So many smiles begin with you. Bless this mess. I want it to be hanging. Wash your hands. Welcome to our perfectly imperfect life. That is so cute. Hi, Jean. How are you? Hello, hello, hello. Thank you to everyone. I'm going to cut this one. Isn't this so cute? It's like some picture frames that you get from Hobby Lobby. I'm so glad that everyone's here hanging out. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. Just throw on some overalls and straw hat and have a... Ca yes! Cappuccino! Okay, so I'm going to cut this one. I think this would be so perfect somewhere here, like a frame. Like a picture frame or something. It has to have like a black background. Let me see. Let us see. Thank you, thank you. The kitchen counter peeks out a little bit, right? You can put, if you have, if you like anything miniature, if you collect miniatures, this would be super cute. I'm making like a faux frame. Faux frame. 
So this is some scraps that I have laying around around the table. And so, so cute. This would be so cute, like either here. What do you what do you think? Can we put it right here as like a sign? What do you think? Could it be a sign or do we want it as like a picture frame? Centering the picture. So sorry. I know my table is such a big mess. I'm sorry, guys. So, do we want to put it right here or do we want it a little bit closer? What are our thoughts? I need to attach this one. It's not sticking. Okay. Okay, so what are your thoughts, you guys? Closer. Oh, you want it closer like here, right? Okay, let's do that. Thank you, thank you, Ingrid. Um, I think that's a great idea. I'm going to put this home. I'm going to put this home right here. And it's going to be like a stand. So it's like a, it's a thing that stands, you know, maybe it's going to be like that. And then this one is going to have a stand too. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm just adding this right here so there's something that I can glue. So now it looks like a picture frame. Um, Hi, Jenny. Hello, hello, hello. In my defense, in my defense, a grandma would say piddle. What is piddle? Just don't. What is piddle, Gina? What did you say, boo? You can't blame autocorrect. <laughs> I say piddle, you're in a good company. Oh, Gina, just remember, this is PG video. <laughs> Gina. Gina, what are you saying, Gina? <laughs> what is happening here? Okay, I need to see it first, you guys. Sorry. Okay, so here I put the house inside. And then we're going to put this right here. As like a welcome to our perfectly imperfect life that's cute wait I'm trying to figure out oh that's cute ding it that's cute I love it okay Is this so cute or what? Are we liking this? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm trying to find like some more elements. It's cute. 30 cards to donate. I love it, Jenny. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. You can also double as an Alexa speaker. That's so cute. Jenny, that, that's awesome. The foster kids would absolutely love it. I've been working on donation cards. Oh my gosh, me too. Me too, me too, me too. Let me show you guys my, my cards. And I'm using um, a unicorn. Where did I put my cards? So I mean, my goal is the original 60. Where did I put my cards? My gosh, this table is such a big mess. <laughs> oh, here. I, I remember where I put them. So, so far, I have these cards done, and I still have to make some more. You need a mixer. Yes. 
Oh my gosh, yes, I do need a mixer. Where do I get a mixer? <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you, you guys. The, the, um, the deadline is in March, so you have a lot of time. You, you have a lot of time, don't worry. <clears throat> so, this is what I have, and it has something to do with Unicorn Month. So that... These, let me get a drink. Okay. And then they want happy birthday and encouragement cards. So lots of unicorns. A mixer would be cute, right? I can make one. Oh my God, I don't know. <laughs> you are going to rock this is an encouragement. Um, Look how cute are these? Choose happy. This is a collection that I'm I'm playing with for Unicorn Month. So cute, and these are Chaos Crafts dies, which you already know. Um, I'm waiting for my pre-order for the new Simple Stories birthday collection. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect, perfect. A lot of mine are using that same. Oh, I love this collection so much. Hello, X O Nitra. These cards, um, these cards are for Cards for Cubs. If you look at BarelyArts.com, they have a campaign. And the campaign is for you to pledge how many cards you want to send. And these cards go to foster children in the foster system. So I would love, love, love it if you can join. Um, how do you package it? I'm just going to put it in a Ziploc. Cards for Cubs, yes. How cute. Look at that leopard that has like cute, cute skates. Um, celebrate is a birthday. Look how cute is this catacorn. <laughs> Don't quit your daydream. So cute. And these were so fun and so easy to make. So cute. Oh my gosh love this collection so much i use a lot of the ephemera but that's okay it's for the foster kids so hooray you're the coolest and then birthday wishes for you so there's still some more stuff that i need to make i still have to make some of them so i'm hoping that i could i could be i would be able to send 50 or 60 cards that's the plan and it's for the kids. I got Nicole's exclusive stitch pocket opening and I love them. So many great cards. Wow, wow, wow. Um, Christina, you should join because you make you you love making cards. Thank you everyone so much. Thank you everyone so very much. So now we have this, and now we're going to decorate this one. So now my husband is playing video games. Sorry. Is there a KitchenAid here? What about a wing scale? Oh, there's a KitchenAid. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like when it comes to size. Nope. Friend, it doesn't work. It's too big. Maybe I should cut the bird. If I cut the bird, would it be cute? Let's see. If we cut the bird out... Is the kitchen egg gonna fit? Is the question. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, not to be party pooper. And to think I said piddle, <laughs> but cards are never easy to make. Yes, it is not. Not everybody is a card maker. I I didn't I was never able to use create cards. I'm not good at it. But Rachel is the card maker amongst the two of us and she just encouraged me to create cards so i just cover house what do we think about just putting it onto the house is this better the kitchen aid versus the house what do you guys think thank you for the link thank you for the link so much yay 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 thank you christina thank you for the link jenny cut the bird poor bird I didn't kill the bird though. She's back. She's back in here to be used in another time. 
but I love it. Okay, so we're going to, we'll make an official decision to add the KitchenAid there. Oh, that's what happened. I did not process that. So let us attach. There you go. Now you have a KitchenAid in your hutch, which is absolutely important. You know, the, this one, the clock would be cute also, but it's going to be too much. So cute. I love it. It's going to be hard to film or photograph this one. I love it. I love it. And then I'm going to put a spatula. I think a spatula would be cute in here. <laughs> Look how cute is the spatula just hanging out there. What do we think? Yeah, I love it. I love it. I know this is not the normal now a vase with flowers. Um, I know that this is not my usual, my usual like style i know i'm always always bright and everything but i do genuinely love this collection so much i think it's absolutely gorgeous i want to put a sign that says i do want to put this one right here as a picture frame to the side i think that's gonna be so cute so so cute Yes, yes, yes. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I do like the house also, Pom, but I think the KitchenAid is absolutely gorgeous. I'm a witness. <laughs> Humane cutting, yes. I made sure that her legs are intact and she is not hurt and we can use her in a different project. Um, what would Granny have? Yes, I think this is Granny's hutch. Granny Helen's hutch which is absolutely so cute and she made it in the 70s which is you know i think this is 60s colors don't you think and now we're going to cover this one let's choose a paper i love this so much i'm just so partial to this that's okay that's okay if you love it so much I do love this print so very much. So very, very, very much. Okay. Oh, I did that correctly. Okay. And then we're going to decorate this. Sorry, I'm not looking at the chat because it's hard to cut. So this one would be here. Um, Bonnie, give it a try. Give it a look because it is a gorgeous, gorgeous collection. You just might like it. It's like a farmhouse vibe. It's not vintage because there's a lot of like modern elements to it. It's just farmhouse vibe and I love it so much. It's so cute. Okay, so now we know that this is going to be our cover. Um, now we are going to cut half of this. So it's going to be three and a half. Perfect. Another three and a half. Cute, cute, cute. Now we decide on our decor. What's our decor? How about the cut aparts? Love grows here. Oh, the fondest memories are made get made around get around the kitchen. Of course. Oh my gosh, this is so ridiculously perfect. Yes, I'm making a cookbook. I'm making a traveler's notebook, Gina. And the traveler's notebook is going to be inside here. This is the size of a traveler's notebook. Um, and that's, that's what it's there for. 
This is a traveler's notebook um, container. And let's see. Let's put these away, my friends. And I got to put... I absolutely, absolutely am loving it. This collection is gorge. <laughs> I love this collection so much, honey. Look how cute that is. What? Yes, yes. Yes, honey, we love it. Yes, I do. Yes, I do very much. I don't know about that. That's gigantic. Let's put it back. Maybe a smaller floral element like this. gorgeous don't forget if you like this go to threecraftchicks.com do, 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 do. oh my gosh that song has been stuck in my head by steve tyler i think we'll spend with you in a moment i treasure gorgeous okay so here's my plan guys this goes here. Don't want to close my eyes. Don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, babe. And I don't want to miss a thing. Yes. What do we think? Do we like it? Walk, walk. <laughs> the walk. Yes, we're going to do the walk. I promise. Gina, I promise. The book will be done and it's gonna be. Um, do you want it like a small book? What are we talking about? Do you want me to make a mini mini book? Okay, we can do a mini book, that's not a problem at all. I think that's gonna be phenomenal. We'll make a mini book for you, okay? <laughs> From scratch. What does book mean? I think she's saying she wants a mini tiny book. But where do you want the mini tiny book? By the um, KitchenAid, isn't it? I bet you she wants the mini book in the KitchenAid. By the KitchenAid. I know Gina well enough. She's going to want a bitty bitty book. Oh my gosh, Aerosmith. Do you love it? Did you have goosebumps? Because they're so talented, Cousin Bonnie. You probably had goosebumps because of their amazing, talented, talentedness. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so cute! Why gonna be so cute? I love it. <laughs> when it's falling, like it, it's all for um falling into place, you just have to clap. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is so cute. Oh, my God. I knew this collection is gorgeous, but man, what? Okay. Yes, the cookbook by the KitchenAid. Okay, let's do it. We're going to make an itty-bitty one. Itty-bitty, itty-bitty. Work the concert at the Tweety. Tweety in Chicago. But it was a new name. I am going to move you a little bit. I'm sorry, my table is a mess. I apologize, but you know when you're in the in the zone. In the zone. Yes, honey, yes. It's so cute. So I gotta center it. Why you gotta be so cute? What do we think? Do we love it? Tweeter Center. I mean, I don't even know. <laughs> I didn't even know that you made a mistake. I don't know Tweeter Center, but gosh. OMGs. OMGs, honey. It's so cute, honey. It's so cute. You like it. You like it, honey. It's so cute. No problem. Maria in the house. What? You're finally catching the live. What? 
Amazing. Maria's Bayak. <laughs> Does the book go in the cabinet? Well, the actual traveler's notebook that's going to be a, probably a recipe book is going to go in here. However, there, we're going to make a small book that goes right here. It's going to be so tiny. Oh my God, it's going to be cute. I'm excited. I wish I had a 6 by 8 so that the, um, the prints are smaller. Okay. Okay. Now this is our this is our traveler's notebook container in the back. You got to adhere everything so it looks amazing. <laughs> Gina. <laughs> Gina's on fire. Does the book go in the cabinet? If so, where? Yes, it goes in the cabinet. Yes, Maria, you have been been in alive and for a very long time. Maria. Yes, I know, honey. And this goes right here. Wouldn't this be so cute, you guys? Look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. Yes, honey. Yes. It looks so good. It looks so good, honey. What? Oh, man. oh my gosh, Gina, what are you doing? <laughs> Everybody's Googling to see if Gina's lying. What are we Googling? Oh my God, what did I miss? Here I go. I'm just crafting away and I'm missing all of the talkies. What did I miss, Gina? What happened? Did I miss a lot? The mini book would tuck perfectly. On the left. Okay. Let's do it. Let's go, honey. Let's go. This one goes here. So cute. Walk, walk. Yes, I'm working on it. <laughs> so where do I put the book? If I'm going to make a small book, I might put it in here. How big do you want it? Do you want an inch? Do you want an inch by one inch by one and a half? How big? Are we looking at an itty bitty book? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Look at Helen the Hutch. Helen is very versatile. She could be bright and cheerful. She could be... So this is what I'm talking to you guys about, okay? If this is your traveler's notebook, you put it right here. And it fits absolutely perfectly for your recipes. I'm not going to do that just yet because I just glued it. But look. This is the perfect size for your traveler's notebooks. I have a tutorial for traveler's notebooks. Um, a teeny tiny. Okay, let's make a teeny tiny one. Behind the sign. Behind the sign. Behind the sign. So it has to be... Okay, let me see. Let me see. Helen is fabulous. I'm so glad you like Helen. Oh, to the left. Okay, so let's look. Okay, I have options for you guys. So, what, what size of small books you like, honey? What size? How small? Okay, this one, this small... This small or this small. Let's do a fitting. Let's try. So is it going to fit though? This is too big. Ooh. It's too big. Can't even put my finger in there. Ah, yes you can. 
You can't see it that much though. Ugh. What's in here? Oh, just sequins. Okay. Okay, so what do we want? Okay, I'm good. And yes, I don't work Friday, Saturday night. Perfect, perfect. Wendy wrote up a recipe card, laminate and put them in a ring for her in the pockets. That's a great idea. The back would be a great recipe book. Yes, that was the plan, Erlinda, is I'm going to put a recipe book in the back. Um, sideways on the left wall. Okay, let's try that. So like this. Oh, I think the bigger book would be better. Why you gotta be so cute? Is this where you guys want the book? Is this what we like? Christian, have you added to your doodle bug wall? I've added so much. My doodle bug wall is like packed. Packed, packed, packed. Um, okay, so this is what we want. So let's create this small book. Let's get some measurements. Let's see. And I probably need to write this down. Um, let me get my ruler. Ruler, ruler. Gina. Yes. With the word recipe on the spine. Okay. Word recipe on the spine. Do I have recipe here? I'm sure I do. What about favorite recipes? Oh my God, that would be so cute. Let's measure how big this is. Because I just... This one was winged. One. One and a half by... I think this is two. It got erased. It's annoying. Okay, one by two. One and a half by two is what we're doing. One and a half by two... I need my scoreboard. I need my scoring tool. So one and a half by two is what we can make. Uh, I have yet to organize it, Maria. Once it's organized, I will definitely show it to you. For sure, for sure. For shizzles. Oh, this is cute. Okay, I'm trying to get... The paper collection. The bird is flying away. Let me see. Love me, love me. Say that you love me. Okay. A yellow would be cute. Okay, so the, the size of the book. Let's do one half. Uh, one, two... One, two, oops, three, four, five, six. Okay, one and a half. I'm not measuring you guys, okay? I'm just playing. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay. So that is that. Okay. Next, reinforcements. It's going to be two inches. So we want one. One, two, and one inch. Okay. So this is the cover of our book. I've been die cutting for days that's funny <laughs> switch cutter what do you guys think about the switch cutter i saw it um i don't necessarily want to buy it are you guys thinking of getting the switch what if there's no electricity and you're stuck in an island 
you know me and my island visions. So, did anybody buy the Switch? Any of you guys buy the Switch? And what is your score? 0 to 10. How amazing is it? Share it with us. Share with your crafty sisters. Um, I want it too, but would, are you willing to spend that much money? Is the question. I want it. All sold out. Guess it's a good. I can't buy it now. I'm sure it's coming back. Allison, I didn't even know you were here. Thinking about it, but I do have the Tim Holtz already. Allison, hello. Night, Mari. Good night, good night, Mari. I hope you have an amazing weekend. A pink switch. I did not know that there's a pink one. Oh my gosh. Is there like an aqua switch? Do we have an aqua switch? Would it be amazing to have the die cutter just, just go without cranking? You just like push it and then it goes. Maybe for my birthday, I'll get a switch. And I can retire my super old Sizzix. How do you get on a wait list? There's a wait list? What? What are the other colors? Anybody know? Is there like an aqua colored switch one? I want an aqua one. I did. My white is on the way. Oh my god, Shanita, you did it. I'm so excited for you. You have to. Um, bought at Hobby Lobby. My first electric die cutter. Oh my god, Laura. I'm so excited. Do you love it? Um, I'm, not, I'm probably not going to get rid of my Sizzix. Just because... But man, man, would it be awesome. Wouldn't it be amazing to have it just because you can? My goodness, wouldn't that be? I just saw it notify me. Oh my God, I want to get, get an aqua one for my birthday. I have it and I love it. <gasps> yes, you can get through so much eye cutting. Oh my God, Catherine, how much is it, you guys? Can you, can anybody tell me, please, how much is this? business how much are we looking at the plates are not so cheap so i use my big shot go to scrapbook.com and put a switch and sign up wow that's intense i don't need it until april i'm not buying the switch i'm good with my gemini and anna griffin i don't have any of those i don't have the gemini or the anna griffin oh it's two hundred dollars Wow, wow, wow. 200 bucks. I think I can do that for my birthday. I think my husband wouldn't wouldn't object to that. I think he's going to be okay with that. That's so worth it. Yes, that's true. That's true. I'm going to try to find some recipes. Let's cook. Okay. Recipes, recipes, be our guest, laundry, bon appetit, family gathered, craft, laugh often, season with love, dishes, anyone. There's, oh, recipes right here. So cute. Um, after these last days of die cutting, I need electric. Yes. Hi, Liana. How are you? Hello, Miss Liana. Welcome, welcome to the crafty community. There's the recipes, Gina. Thank you for being here. I think we all want this thing. <laughs> Catherine is on Australia, so it's going to cost so much more, but still worth the investment. That's true. Uh, is there going to be an aqua one is my question. Aqua, um, if there's not anything more alluring, come out by April. Yes. I wish, I wish, I wish. I'm going to put this on here. So all I need is... Look at the cute pink one. So the pink is cute. 199 the white is 209 the pink and peach there's a peach one ah 
<gasps> there's a black one. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, you guys are so bad influence. <laughs> you guys are bad. <laughs> what you doing to me? <laughs> but I'm good technically. I've been really, really good and not spending too much. How thick is this one? So I'm not I'm not in a bad place right now. So far, only black, white, and pink, and peach. Imagine if they're going to come out with aqua. Oh, don't know about aqua, black, white, peach at Hobby Lobby. Well, if I'm going to get one, I would... What about Amazon? Ooh, the pinkest cherry blossoms was sold out in an hour yesterday. Scrap Diva has a peach one. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I'm going to look. <laughs> I am going to look. I'm going to take a look. If, see what we have. I think this is going to be cute. If it was. Okay. Oh. One, two. Okay. One and three quarters by. One and three quarters by one and one fourth. One and three quarters by one and one fourth. So half. No three. One and three quarters. What did I say? One and three quarters. So one by one and one fourth. Okay. One and one fourth. These this is so hard to see. One, two, three. Okay. One and one fourth. One and one fourth. Sorry, guys, I'm making the book. One, two, three. You guys wanted me to make the book, so I'm making the book right now. One and three quarters, therefore. Okay. I just bought the freaking magnetic plate today. What? That is so amazing. I want to get all of it, though. If I'm going to get it, it's going to be the works. With the works. If it's going to be for my birthday. Yes, honey, yes. It's going to be a thing. I'm so excited. Silhouette cameo. 18 skeins of yarn. It arrived today. How lucky, Bevs. How lucky are you, Bevs? You are so loved. What an awesome, awesome gift. That's the thing. The switch measurements are different. Oh, wow. Oh, no. No. No, it is different. So you have to finagle with the measurements? That's insane. I don't know about that. I don't know about that then. If I'm going to have to like. Do some customization. I'm not sure I want that though. Is it difficult when it comes to like customizing everything? Is it going to be difficult to switch? I'm going to look into that. I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow. Why not? Why not? But I'm juicing, so I have to be close to the bathroom. My goodness. Not sure if I want to leave the house. <laughs> Nine skeins. Wow, wow, wow. That's an amazing gift. So I'm just making the box as always, you guys, because we have the recipe book. Da, 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 da. This project is turning out to be really, really cute. If I can say so myself, um, I know that you guys didn't expect this collection. I'm going to I'm going to play with this collection because it's not super colorful, but I do love it genuinely with all my heart. According to C6 platforms are interchangeable. It is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That makes me feel so good. 
I'm going to tell my husband it's for my birthday if I buy it tomorrow. <laughs> yes, the regular plates work. Perfect. Perfect. How big is it? Can it can it work with um guys, can it work with some pros? Is it that big like it's as big as a pro? Sizzix Pro cuz the Sizzix Pro is the biggest. It's like an AccuCut. It's exactly like an AccuCut. Good night, Alicia. Thank you for being here and hanging out with us. Good night, Gail. Oh, it's not that big. Okay. Okay, because the Pro is gigantic, and I do have the Pro. Okay. Um, so it's bigger than the big big kick, but smaller than the pro. Hi Lexi. Did you get my glue sticks? Mm -hmm. Where is it? They're downstairs. I can get it for you. Yay, thank you. I got this shirt too. Super cute, Lex. I, I got, I it's very two. slimming. I got two more. Slimming. Thanks. Love it. Smaller oh, yeah. than the pro platform, nine inches wide. Wow. That looks phenomenal. Okay, so okay, now we have our recipe book, my friends. It's done. I didn't write the measurements, so don't ask me about measurements because I did not write it down. I was busy talking about the Sizzix switch. Eventually, everybody is going to have a switch. What is this? Glue sticks. Oh, glue sticks. What are we going to do? I literally buy you glue sticks. <laughs> I had my husband buy me glue sticks for the glue gun. Did you tell him? Look what I got. <laughs> Did you tell him? Was... <laughs> Did you tell him it was for the hot gun, mom? The glue gun? Oh, my God. Did you tell him it was for a glue gun, mom? No. <laughs> exactly girl uh, okay fine I'll do it myself <laughs> Dad, Dad. Tim Holtz was pro she meant hot glue sticks for a glue gun <laughs> <laughs> glue sticks girl uh, I know I know that's funny girl, what are we gonna do with these nothing you can have it Okay. Uh, neither do I, but I'll just, just leave it there. Donate it to a school, I guess. I get all the kids. That's so yeah. funny. My gosh! Oh my gosh! Love much. Okay, now we decorate, and then we're gonna be done. This is so cute. Look at this book, Gina. Okay, I put the recipes for you. It says recipes. What do you think? <laughs> He tried. <laughs> yes, I can't get mad. He did try. And he did buy it. So that's true. I do appreciate it. Okay, let me see what decoration we have. I want to make sure that it fits before I start popping it up with business. Oh, this is cute. The house. Let's put a house element right here. cute right cute 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 and then we could do and I want to spend with you what else can I add no we got florals already don't want to close my eyes I don't want to fall asleep because I miss you, babe. I think that's it. I think this is it. Kiss the cook, maybe. Bless our mess. Homemade. Ooh, cute. Homemade would be cute. Yes, you have to spell it out. You do. Um, yes. <laughs> so funny. You said glue stick. 
Um, yes, honey, that's what happened to me. <laughs> but it's okay. I didn't I didn't say it's for my glue gun. So this is our recipe box. I hope I didn't glue it somehow. So this is our recipe box, recipe book. And we're going to put it right here where it belongs. Should I glue it? I think I'm going to put a dollop of glue so it doesn't go anywhere. Because I do want it to stay in the forefront. Look how cute! My gosh, and it says recipes. Is this cute? I think this is done. This project is done. Christian, give that birdie a home. This birdie, true. This birdie a home. Where do I put the birdie though? Where are we putting this abandoned bird that was removed from the KitchenAid? There. Now she's in the forefront of the decor. So when we open it, when we close it, just like that. <clears throat> a lot were gifted. Yes, yes, yes. Um, at least you can do since you chopped him off. That's true. Very, very true. So I think this is it for this project. What do you guys think? Do you like Helen the Hutch? There's so many varieties of Helen. You guys, Helen can be bright and cheerful in everything that you want. Helen could also be subdued and neutral. And also whatever you want Helen to be. It's up to you. Use your stash. I think using our stash is the clincher here. Um, I will be posting. You got the specific details, details, details. Yes, yes, yes. Remember to buy tom them tomorrow when you go to Hobby Lobby. Yes, I will get it for my birthday. Um... Was you still out of control? <laughs> no, I think I'm good. I'm good. I'm not buying a lot. Beautiful project. Thank you so much. But I love my Gina phone best. Of course you do. <laughs> Thank you, Tamika. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. Please expect this tutorial will be in your hands by Saturday tomorrow. I just need to add the details. I already have a tutorial to create the Traveler's Notebook that's going to go inside this one. So... You can definitely create a recipe holder if you wanted to. And that's where your recipes would go. And this could hang out in the kitchen. And it could have your timer or whatever you like. Or you can gift it gift it to a friend. Whatever you like. Um, but I hope you like this um, adventure of creating Helen the Hutch with a very neutral collection i love 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 this collection so much thank you everyone for hanging out and i hope you have an amazing crafty weekend um take care everyone thank you for hanging out and thank you for all the thumbs up i absolutely appreciate it walk 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 <laughs> thank you lisa i didn't know you were here thank you so much thank you everyone and I hope you have an amazing weekend. If you like this collection, go to 3 Use Christian10 as your coupon code. Anyway, I love the details, you guys. Thank you so much. And have a good one. Bye, guys.